I like a thicker consomme. Mm mm. Hey boos, welcome back to another video. In today's video, y'all, I'll be eating on some video tacos. I hope I said it right. But this is my first time making these, y'all. Um, I got recipes from all over the place, y'all. I've seen somebody making it this way, that way, this way, and I just kind of put everything together and I just made it. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't follow really one person recipe, to be real. I followed a, a bunch of different recipes. So hopefully it turns turned out amazing. I don't know, we'll show see. <laughs> But I have all the toppings, you know, I have some pickled onions, cilantro, uh, jalapenos. I also have some guacamole salsa, lemons, limes. Uh, did I say uh, jalapenos? I think I did already. And that's it. And I also made a, um, a uh, burrito as well. So let's get to it because I'm really, I'm really excited to try these, y'all. Let's see, let's see. I really wanted to make them really crunchy, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's get to it. I'm in my consomme um, on a thicker side. It's blazing hot, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's still hot. But I made it thicker. I like a thicker consomme. Mm mm. <laughs> No way I made that. <laughs> Y'all. Mmm. Oh, that's amazing. Them pickled onions. Mmm. Y'all, that's delicious. Wow, that was so good. Mmm. Mm hmm. Anyways. How everybody been? Let me know down below in the comments what's been up. Thank you for watching my last video. Thank you for watching yesterday's video. You a real one for that. <laughs> I really, really appreciate that. Because you could have been doing anything. Okay. Look at that, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. This <laughs> mm. Y'all So I cooked the meat four hours. The meat was cooking about four hours. So tender. Everything's just so flavorful and fresh, juicy. Oh my goodness, y'all. Wow. I'm gonna put the link to this guy's shorts that I feel like I got the bulk of my um, inspiration from the the recipe. I'll link that down below. Y'all gotta try this, y'all gotta make it. And the reason why I like, the reason why I really enjoyed making this was because I was able to make my consomme as thick as I wanted to. Cause every time I go places, 
I love the the Bidia tacos, but I be wanting my consomme to be thicker. You know, not too thick. To me, this for me personally is the the best consistency for me. A lot of people like theirs more watery. Um, it's okay. I you know whatever. I'm gonna eat it regardless. Okay. <laughs> But I prefer it on a thicker side. And if you make it your own, if you do, if you make it at home, you could just, you can add as much meat as you want, you know, get as many toppings that you want. Make it at home, Pooh. Make it at home, I'm telling you. Make it at home. Mm-hmm. Definitely make it at home. You have so much left for your family too. I have a lot left. Mm-mm. I ain't been using my lime. I'm tripping, y'all. Mm-mm. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. And the fact they just so fresh and hot. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, I am literally enjoying myself. This is straight fire. Oh, I knew I was gonna do that. I knew I was gonna do that. So it's the beginning of a new month. What everybody up to? What y'all got going on? I made them thick too. Y'all added so much meat. Look, that's what I'm saying. You can add as much as you want. Mm-hmm. Y'all see all that meat? Yes. So good. Let me add a little bit of pickled onions. I hope y'all having a good day today. I'm having an amazing day today. I went for a walk today. It's so nice outside. So nice. Nice and sunny. Yes. That's the thing, y'all. It's like living in living in, living in um, Houston. I like it around this time. Once it hit like the next week or so, probably next couple weeks. Oh man, it's like it make you want to stay in the house. Look at that bite. Mm. Got some extra cilantro too. Mm. Y'all gotta try this out. Super easy to make too. Super easy. Wow, that was so good, y'all. Let me get this burrito. Let me get this burrito. Oh, 
flavorful. Oh my goodness. Let me add some of this green sauce. It's um guacamole salsa. Mmm. Got a kick to it too. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you got a kick to it. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Y'all yeah, was supposed to um I was supposed to actually be eating some crawfish. Mm. I was supposed to be having some crawfish, but I went to this place called, um, I lost the jalapeno. Um, I was supposed to go to this place called, um, Crawfish King. Well, not supposed to. I went to a place called Crawfish King. I went to this place called Crawfish King and y'all, I did not like the flavor of their crawfish. I mean, it had no flavor to me. And they were so small, it was ridiculous. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> like that was like, I would, that had to have been the worst crawfish spot I've been to since I've been here in Houston. That place, I don't know. And everybody said it was so good. And I'm, and you know, maybe it is, you know, maybe it is. It's just, they had an off day. Let's just say, you know, cause we all have off days. So maybe they had an off day. I'm gonna give them another shot. But this lady that I met, she told me to try this place called Crawfish Connection. So I'll be there soon. Mmm. Because I love crawfish, y'all. Love crawfish. So I actually met two girls here that's from Louisiana. I mean, I meet a lot of girls from Louisiana because, I mean, obviously, you know. But they told me, like, go to, um, one, one of them told me to go to Crawfish Connection. And then the other one told me to go to Swamp Donkeys. So, I'm take that word. They're from Louisiana, so. <laughs> things fresh so hopefully it's good because that place made me so mad they were them crawfish was so small so we shall see mm. mm -mm -mm. y'all Um, I forgot Cinco de Mayo Day coming up too. Um, that's also fall on Sunday fun day here in Houston. So I know it's about to be jumping. I think I might actually step out. I think I might actually step out. Sunday fun day and Cinco de Mayo Day. I think I might do that. We shall see. Just thought about that. I think I might step out y'all. Mm. Mm hmm. 
But y'all can't wait to go to um Louisiana too. It's just a couple things I want to try. I think you pronounce them beignets. Is that how you pronounce it, beignets? I don't think I'm pronouncing them right. But I want to try those. Of course, I want to go to Louisiana for the crawfish. I got to get to Louis. I got to get to Louisiana. I got to get to Louisiana for the crawfish. Okay, I really want to take a trip. I just want to go take a trip to Louisiana, period, just to eat. <laughs> just to eat. Okay, just to eat. Mm. Mm hmm. This was absolutely amazing. Like this 10 out of 10. When I tell you I will be making video tacos at home from now on, I'm gonna leave the links of the couple people that I did watch. I think I watched like three people. Cause baby, this was so good. Now if I had to, like I say, I watched three different videos but I feel like I followed the guys more his was a short though he had made a short a YouTube short so I can't really some of y'all may be able to follow that and some of y'all may not be able to but I'm gonna leave that one then I'm gonna leave the, the other lady that I follow too on how to make this so um yeah y'all but this was so freaking good this was just a quick little video Real quick, real quick. All right, y'all, thank y'all so much for joining in today's video. I really, really appreciate y'all being here with me today. This is just a quick little video, you know. I wanted to test these video tacos, video tacos out, y'all. They were fantastic, divine, divine, okay, y'all? So delicious and juicy and hot and fresh and just melt in your mouth meat. It was just <clears throat> the, the vegetables, everything was just so fresh and just, Y'all, I'm going to leave the links down below in the description box, like I said. So y'all definitely go check it out. And I just love the fact that you can make as much as you want. Because you know when you go to those places, you get in three video tacos for sometimes $12, you know, $13, $15. Just all depends. With inflation now, I don't even know how much they cost now because I can't even remember. Um, But if, oh, if you live in, if you live anywhere in Detroit, anywhere in Detroit, there's this place called Amigos Street Tacos. They are in Sterling Heights, I believe. The best video tacos I have ever tried. Their video tacos are amazing. And get their, uh, what was it? Carne asada fries. Steak, steak carne asada fries. Fire, hands down. So good. And they mango dada. They mango dada drink. Oh my God, y'all, so good. So if you live in Detroit, it's in Sterling Heights now. It's in Sterling Heights, so you gotta drive, you know. I forgot where, what mile it was on. I can't even remember. Don't ask me, I can't remember. But um, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell that's next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I drop new videos, you know. But anyways, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.